Welcome to Latin with Andy, Code Breakers. These videos are to help you follow along with the Code Breakers at home worksheets. So if you have not downloaded them, please click the link, purchase them, and subscribe so that you can further enhance your Latin experience. Last day, we're putting it all together. First, vocab quiz. Let's see if you can give the Latin word for these nouns. What is the Latin noun for flower? It's flos floris. How about man? Homo hominis. Grass? You got it, gramen gramenis. How about night? This one's a cool sounding one, nox noctis. And then king, a classic noun, rex regis. How about truth? Veritas veritatis. What's the Latin noun for bird? That's right, avis avis. How about river? Flumen fluminis. And finally, what is the Latin noun for law? You got it, Lex Ligis. Great work, guys. Keep on working on memorizing those nouns. All right, this is our big test here. Let's see if you can decline this word here based on the things you've learned about the third declension. Remember, there's three different stories we've looked at, so this noun could be from any of those. So you have to be really careful and watch out to identify that gender and add on the correct endings. So pause the video and try it out, then come back to see the answer. How'd it go? You guys have gotten good at this. It is time to put it all together. We have all of our ciphers on this side, so let's see if we can translate these sentences. Let's pay close attention to the endings. Number one, Lex Dei Est Bona. Okay. Let's start with Lex. Lex we remember from our vocab. Remember Lex Legis means law. And from the nominative singular, we can see that it is feminine. It also does not have a natural gender, so that's why we checked that. So this is a feminine singular nominative form. Okay, we have our subject. Now we have Dei. That is going to be a masculine singular genitive form. The other option is masculine plural nominative, but when it comes to this god, we only refer to him in the singular, so masculine singular genitive. And then we have est. Remember, this is a third person singular present tense form of sum that works like an equal sign, right? So this might be connecting two things together. Let's check bona to see if it is. Bona has that ending. This is a first and second declension adjective, meaning it uses the first declension and the second declension endings. So looking at that ending, we see that that is a feminine singular nominative ending. Hang on, that matches with lex. So s is, com is connecting lex and bona together. So all of this would translate to mean the law of God, or God's law, is good. That's a nice sentence. Number two, flores et always amabis. Okay, flores. Remember, this one is one of our exception words. We have to have that memorized. This is a masculine noun, not a feminine noun, as it looks like on our vocab card. So the stem is floor and the ending is ace. This is, can be either masculine plural nominative or masculine plural accusative. Okay, this next word right here, et, this is a conjunction that means and, connecting two nouns together, flores and always, always. So we'll just translate with a little and in there. Always looks like it has the same ending as flores. This one's a feminine noun though. It's going to be feminine plural nominative or feminine plural accusative. And since et is combining the two together, they're both going to be the same thing, either both nominative or both accusative. Now let's see. Let's check amabis. Okay, the stem is am. We have that conjugation identifier. Then the bi, which remember, says it's future, and then the s. The s says it's second person singular, so this form is a second person singular future tense verb. Okay, now here's the thing. Our verb is second person, which means that we can't have whatever subject that we want in a different noun. It has to be you. <laughs> That's right, you. So that means that flores and always are most likely going to be accusative. So we'll translate this as you 
future, right? Will love what? You will love flowers and birds. All right, we've worked through these first two together. Now here comes the test, putting it all together. Try to do this sentence on your own. Translate it as best as you can. Remember the steps that we've been doing, right? Taking it one word at a time and identifying everything you possibly can before trying to translate. All right, code breakers, this is the test. Break that code. Pause the video and then come back and see if you got the answer right. How'd you do, code breakers? This was the test. I'm sure you did great. Congrats, code breakers. We've made it to the end. But don't forget, review your vocabulary cards. Of course, practice declining your third declension nouns. Great job, guys. You've made it to the end. But it's just the beginning of a world of code breaking adventures. I'll catch you next time. Now it's time for Latin Boot Camp. You thought Latin was hard, but now, wait till I push you through this. One arm push ups, guys, go. One. <coughs> One. <laughs> Ignore this. <laughs> I can't even do it.